What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, very quickly, before we go ahead and start today's commentary, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys who took some time out of your busy days to go ahead and tune into my birthday stream yesterday. I gotta say, it was an absolute blast. It was a lot of people who turned out, and honestly, it was amazing to be able to play something that I genuinely enjoy, instead of having to grind out something like Battlefield or Call of Duty. For those who don't know, I played things like Escape from Tarkov, uh, Ready or Not, Insurgency Sandstorm, basically a bunch of uh, strategic or tax shooters, and I didn't really expect too many people to tune in and watch that stuff but surprisingly a lot of you guys did and i want to thank each and every one of you guys for spending some time with me and making my birthday actually really enjoyable but for those who enjoy a more arcadey experience i guess when it comes to video games we will be returning to those type of titles today so no more of the tax shooters we will be revisiting them much more often now that i know that you guys actually enjoy playing those games and watching those games i will definitely stream tarkov and ready or not and insurgency sandstorm squad all those fun shooters i'll stream them much more often but when the grind needs to happen the grind needs to happen Happen. Battlefield, Call of Duty, Halo Infinite. We got to make sure that we get a bunch of clips and a bunch of topics to talk about those games. So we will be back to the regular Twitch grind on that today. So if you guys want to be a part of that, by all means, tune into the stream. The link to that stuff is down in the description. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just very quickly, I want to explain what's going on here. This right here is World War III, and we're playing Team Deathmatch. Now, Team Deathmatch in this game is a little different than other titles. It's not just one round. This goes based off of two rounds. So it might seem a little weird and it might be a bit confusing, but just know that the two clips I'm showing you are the same TDM game. It's the same exact thing, just split into two different matches. Uh, I don't know. Leave it up to the developers for that one. But the reason I'm showing you guys World War III gameplay in general is because I want to go ahead and showcase this game off just a little bit more before Christmas Day actually comes around. I went ahead and made a couple of videos about this in the past, one of them being very negative because I didn't really care for the update at first, but after sinking my teeth into the game a tad bit more, I made a bunch more positive commentaries and I'm going to continue to do so because I think this right here probably has the most potential out of any FPS game that's you know indie developed obviously to come up in the shooting scene. Now quickly I do want to let you guys know this game is a PC exclusive currently but it will be coming out to console I believe during March. It's going to be an open beta for this game that all console players next gen console players are going to be able to play. So please have a little patience. Definitely keep your eyes peeled for this game. Keep watching gameplay, keep watching streams and stuff like that. Keep yourself updated on this title, and when March comes around, give it a shot. Because also for console players, if you have the patience to wait for this game, it will be free to play. So it will literally not cost you a single dime. You're going to be able to download it and play it whenever you feel like it. But I know dang well a lot of you guys out here who watch my content are PC gamers. And more than likely, your family or your friends are going to go ahead and get you gift cards for your video game steam cards to be more specific and i just wanted to go ahead and make this video to let you guys know that this game is actually on sale right now and i personally think it's a great game to put into your library currently i believe it's only 12 to 13 dollars at the moment for early access into this game now there are a few issues with this title which i will go ahead and describe a little bit later in this video but i just want to let you guys know that yes it is on sale uh only for the holiday season once january comes around the sale will be gone but i gotta say for the price tag that's on this game i think Think it's definitely worth it and especially if you got like a $50 steam card that's not even half of the money on that card you can still use that on anything else in the steam sale while still being able to pick up world war 3 for a very cheap price but this game right here world war 3 to me personally at least plays way more like battlefield than battlefield 2042 does which is extremely depressing because you know you don't want battlefield to go down that route especially if you're a hardcore battlefield fan but the good thing is like i just said this game will be available on all next gen consoles and it's also going to be free to play later on in the life cycle for every Everybody, PC and for console so that's good everybody's going to be able to get their hands on that game but seriously though I'm not lying when I tell you this World War 3 is just a better battlefield now the game does lack destruction it does lack you know crazy environmental changes and weather features and stuff like that it doesn't have the massive tornadoes that Battlefield 2042 does but at the end of the day, it has the gameplay. And I made it very clear, and I believe, was it yesterday's commentary or the commentary before yesterday's? But I made it very clear that you can have the most gorgeous looking game in the whole universe. But if it plays like butt, then guess what? It plays like butt. And World War III does not do that. Now, the graphics in this game are subpar they're not bad you know they're not awful it's not minecraft but it's nothing amazing again it doesn't match up to a battlefield title but like i just said it's not about the graphics it's about the core gameplay and everything about the gameplay in this game is just phenomenal now the tax sprinting is a little wacky still in my personal opinion i feel like it could just be completely adjusted or removed from the game altogether but when it comes to just simply sprinting or even hitting a slide and down to the amazing gunplay in this title it's just everything that I wanted out of a Battlefield game. It feels 
realistic. It feels like a milsim while at the same time keeping the arcadey feel of a shooting game, something like Battlefield or Call of Duty, something that Battlefield's lacking nowadays, because Battlefield used to feel like a military game. Battlefield used to have the vibes of a milsim title, but like I just said, it was always an arcade shooter. Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3, for example, the skins of the characters, the environments, the maps that were in, the campaigns that they laid out, it was very realistic and it felt amazing, but at the same time, when you're running around and gunning people, it's fast-paced and arcadey. Now, Battlefield 2042 doesn't have that anymore. Battlefield 2042 is arcadey, it's fast-paced, but it lacks every bit of realism that all the past Battlefield titles gave us. Even Battlefield Hardline, which was a cops and crooks game, had more realism and kept to the tone of the time period and, you know, set that they're trying to put there more than Battlefield 2042. I mean, for the love of God, the background story of Battlefield 2042 is amazing. I mean, the world is freaking ending. Every country is out there trying to fight for resources just so they can live day to day. You know, it's not even about, you know, having a good economy. And no, no, they're just trying to fight for resources so they can eat and drink for a day. You know what I'm saying? You would think it would have this, you know, apocalypse type vibe, really scary, you know, war but no, it's goofy. It's just, it's like Overwatch or it's like, you know, one of the Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4 titles where they had, you know, the specialists doing crazy dances. That's what this game is like right now with a backstory like that. That doesn't add up in any type of way. And I just don't think people can sit down at Battlefield 2042 and take it seriously when they're just pointing in two opposite directions. You don't have to worry about that in World War III right here. This game, it's called World War III. It's about World War III. It takes places in a bunch of countries that could potentially be in World War III. And at the same time, all the skins and the weapons and the attachments, everything makes sense. It fits the atmosphere of the game. Everything about World War III, honestly, in my personal opinion, is phenomenal. Now, there are issues. Not everything is going to be good when it comes to a game. There are going to be some problems. The sound audio is horribly bad, extremely bad, and also optimization needs massive work. I think those are the only problems. But when I say optimization is really bad, I truly mean it. Optimization is really, really bad. I have a beefy boy PC. I can barely get like 50 to 60 frames while I'm playing in the conquest style game mode. You know, something like Battlefield Conquest. I can barely get good frames when I'm playing that in World War III. But Team Deathmatch, that works perfectly fine. But when it comes to optimization, they really have to go ahead and work on it. But again, I am trying to run higher, you know, quality and stuff like that. If you put on all low settings and stuff, it might work a little bit better for you. But seriously, if they just fix the optimization, the sound audio this game would just it would easily sell 24 7 people would be eating this up to see the progress that this game has made seriously go ahead and look up past previous gameplay of world war 3 before they did the overhaul this game vanished off the face of the earth it literally just poofed you know we spent our money me including you know me and a lot of other people spent our money for this game and they haven't updated it for, I think, a year plus, maybe two years, maybe even more. I don't even remember how long it was. But this game got completely thrown under the bus and they didn't even bother working on it anymore. Well, at least we thought. When in reality, instead of, you know, doing tiny little updates over and over, they spent all those years, basically undercover, not saying anything, making one massive overhaul. And I gotta say, I'm happy with that. I truly thought they were going to abandon us, but to hear that all their time went into working on this game and making sure everything was improved, I'm very thankful for that, and I'm really happy to see where this game is standing right now. And to think of the future of this title, it's going to be really good. So please, ladies and gentlemen, if you're struggling with Battlefield 2042 right now, go for this game right here. Like I said, if you own a PC and you get a Steam card for Christmas, it is $13, 12 to $13 until January. That is not even going to take up a full gift card of Steam. You can't even get a gift card that low. You have to, I think it's like a $20 minimum. So you can get this game 110%. And I promise you, the gameplay and the time that you put into it is definitely going to be worth it. I think you will enjoy it. Now, like I said, there are a few problems, but you have to understand this game isn't complete. It's not even officially out yet. This is still considered, I think, a beta of some sort. So once this game releases on console, it's going to be in a complete version. And I think it's going to be 110% percent better than what it is currently but if you are on console don't forget the battlefield 2042 update the season one update where all the content's coming in isn't until march as well so you're gonna have two options here you're gonna have an option to play one of the most open wide maps with no cover or you can come over and play world war 3 on your console and get like four five six different maps with a bunch of weapons and actual fun gameplay 
Up to you guys, though. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If I say hate it, leave a dislike. Also, for brand new, enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, want to chat me this tweet, do so. I have a Twitter and a Discord. Both of those are in the down description. And also, want to catch me live streams and video games and do it on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you all in the next one. Peace out.